This is Twit. We want to talk about Heartbleed because it actually addresses something very, very basic in programming and something that's very important. It's all about sanitizing inputs. It's about sanitizing your, your it, comments. Your com. It will sanit sanit sanitizing <laughs> your code. You, yes. You have so. to make sure that the data that you receive is what you expected. Exactly. And unfortunately, the writer of the piece of code in OpenSSL that is responsible for the Heartbleed bug didn't do that. Now, Brian, do uh, you actually have a link for the GitHub that has all the OpenSSL code? Uh, while you get that up, let, let me let me really briefly state what's going on in the Heartbleed bug. So what we're talking about is the heartbeat. Anytime I established a secure connection, so snubs, let's say that you're Facebook. Okay, you're the okay. Facebook server. I'm talking to you. You know, you know how that little you get that little padlock in the upper corner yes. of your browser? Mm -hmm. It tells you that you're secure, right? Yeah. It tells me I'm using HTTPS. Exactly. I've, I've, secure Socket Slayer or TLS, mm -hmm. which gives me an encrypted tunnel between the client and the server. You're the right. server on the client. Now, that's a good thing because without that, anyone could just snoop in on our, on our conversations right. and they could read everything that I'm sending and everything you, that you're sending back Especially to me. Especially if they have a Wi-Fi pineapple. Brought to you by Hack5. No, but, <laughs> but see, here's the thing. I can't just keep those open. Right. right. Once I've established one of those connections, I need a way to tell the server that even when I'm not using it, let's say I'm, I'm reading something that's on my page and I'm reading it for three minutes, my client, my computer still needs to be able to tell the server, I'm still connected, I still need you, don't shut off the connection. So this is the heartbeat that's this is going the heartbeat. between us. Right. It's just, it's a nonsense piece of data. It's a, it's a minimal uh, data set. It's a very small handshake, very small packet, essentially saying, keep me alive. Okay. Keep me alive. Keep me alive. And it does that every once in a while. So why do we have these jelly beans up here? Okay. So this <laughs> is your system memory. You're the server, right? Oh, yeah. Don't eat your memory. I won't eat oh, my memory. Man, just going to eat all the memory. All right. My so you... My just failed. Uh... <laughs> now this, this one jelly bean. This is my heartbeat packet. Okay. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to send you two things. I have to send you my payload, and the payload is the jelly bean, mm -hmm. right? But I also have to send you a description of how big this is. Ah, okay. So in all non-open SSL implementations of SSL, of, of the secure sockets layer, of the, of the encryption, whenever I, the client, send something to you, the server, you check what you received against what I told you I sent. Ah, okay. So, Let's say I do this. I go ahead and I say, I'm sending you one jelly bean. I give it I to you. I just received one jelly bean. Right? And that's it. And, and so you said, well, you told me that you sent me one jelly bean. I it read looks that like a jelly bean. it looks like a jelly bean, and now you send it back to me. I'm sending you one jelly bean. And there we go. So now the connection stays alive. If I did this, I am sending you five jelly beans, and I give that to you. What do you think you as a server do? I only have one jelly bean. That's it. Right. This is odd. This is Max. odd. It, it'll kill the connection, right? Or it, it'll ask for the heartbeat again. Right. It's that's simple checking, right? That's sanitizing your inputs. That's making sure that you've actually received what you expected to receive. That's good that coding. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. There's a bug in OpenSSL. No. Yeah. And Brian, if you go ahead and bring up that GitHub, it'll actually show you the code that goes behind SSL. Now go ahead and forward. Uh, what line was that? We, we need you to go to uh, to line 3,972. Uh, there, right there. See, so, so you see where it says read type and payload length first. These next four lines of code, actually three oh. lines after the comment, are entirely responsible for the, the heart bleed bug. Now, let me explain. This looks kind of crazy, but let me explain what's here. HB type is just setting the type of data. Okay, okay. So that's like from C sharp that just says this is the kind of data I'm going to be receiving. Okay. P++, we've seen that. It just it's incrementing the counter. So it's ah, P yes. plus 1, right? Plus 1, yeah. Now here's the big line. NS2, which is calling a function because we know it's in parentheses, right? So right. it's calling a function and it's passing it two parameters. P is the location. It's called a pointer of the the payload, the jelly bean. So it's telling it where the jelly bean is located. Okay. Right? Payload is the length. That's me telling you I'm passing you one jelly bean. Ah, okay? Oh. Now a good piece of code would have had an extra line here that says, is P, the length of P, equal to the length of payload? Right, yeah. Right? So if I told it you... It's sanitizing their it's code. It's sanitizing the code. It's sanitizing the input. It's saying, if I told you I'm giving you one jelly bean, what is P? How long is P? Is P actually one jelly bean? If it right. is, allow it. If it's not, then X. Kill the connection. And since they didn't do that, there is no line that says if it's this long, then 
it should equal P. Right, That right. pretty much means that the payload could be as long as they want. Or short. So this or is short. how it works. If you come back to me, now we're talking about this jelly bean, all right? So I'm still talking to you in the server, and I'm passing you this one jelly bean, mm -hmm. and I'm saying, I sent you 64,000 jelly beans. It looks like 64,000 jelly beans. That's how OpenSSL <laughs> works. Because it doesn't check, it's just going to trust me. And unfortunately, that's not, that's not good. So what it's going to do is it's going to say, well, he must have sent me 64,000 jelly beans, so I'm going to send him back the one jelly bean plus 6, oh, 63,999 jelly beans he shouldn't have received. That's so Which means bad. <laughs> I take your system memory. Hello, hacks. And it's all for me. That's bad. Hello, hacks. Exactly. <laughs> and, and and see, the problem with that is they can do it over and over and over, and right. each time they'll get a different set of the memory until they can put it all together, and they can essentially have everything. And from the server end, everything looks cool, so nobody ever checks right. for any difference. To the server end, if you're using OpenSSL, the unpatched version, all it knows is that someone's sending a lot of heartbeats. And that's normal, right. because that's how we keep the connection open. Mm -hmm. It doesn't realize that it's giving away the keys to the kingdom every time it sends you that 64K. Authorization acknowledged. <laughs> Precisely, exactly. We got a computer fault. Yes. <laughs> so that's how Heartbleed works. And go back to that code, Brian. This is the crazy part. This is what we're trying to drill into you people. When you're writing your code, you got to make sure to check for things like that. Right. Th this was an innocent mistake. This was, again, we know that this was submitted, something like, what was it, a, a, an hour or two before midnight two years ago, uh, December t uh, 2011. Right. So it was probably some guy staying up late, writing some code. It looked right, it worked right, but he never actually made sure that he was receiving That's what he true. was supposed to receive. Oh, man, I simple feel bad mistake. for that guy. I feel bad for him, but, you know, simple mistake that anyone could make. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but it's a really, it's a good example of what can happen if you don't say anything. Very good example.